Hey, it's Carly with Launch Code. So in this video, we're going to refactor our um, our homepage for our coding events view to take advantage of a model class that we've already created. So just a summary of what we have so far. So in the last series of videos, we created and started implementing this event model class, um, but we haven't yet really used the model inside of our view templates. So let's take a look at what's going on in the controller. So in the controller, we are still taking advantage of this object called view bag that the that any view template just automatically knows about. Um, the problem with view bag though is that as you uh, now are probably intimately familiar, having made plenty of these um, properties yourself, the properties that you that you um, create and then assign on onto the view bag object are are up to you. So you can name this view bag uh, dot events, you can name that events property, whatever you like, and you just need to make sure that you're, um, you're referring to the same property name inside of the view when you're taking when you're using any view bag property. So that um, does open open your application to the possibility of errors of just you know, programming errors, you could inadvertently, um, you know, misspell an item or, or assume that you have a property that's not there inside of the view. So um, our first step in kind of exploring how we can um, potentially avoid some of, of those types of errors will start passing in the actu an actual model into our view. Um, so to do that, we'll scrap using this view bag and instead just call this a list of events. And just initially in the same line as the declaration, um, give that all of the event data that we have in our application. Now uh, we'll slightly modify our return statement to pass in that list which is uh, something that we haven't done before. And in order to use that, let's go into this view events index template. In order to use that object that we've passed in, we'll, t we'll add even more new syntax and have this model declaration up top. So we're saying we're, we're going to be using that object that we passed in with our return statement. We're gonna be using that and it's going to be of type list of events. So just like um, any other C sharp class, you can use using statements here. So now we know for sure that. Um, Oh, doesn't like that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now we know for sure that this template um, has access to that event type, um, and we are calling where that's what the using statement does here. Now the model statement here on line three um, tells the template that the item that we're going to be calling model is a type list of events. So, like I said, we're what we're doing is we're removing the use of this view bag dot events and replacing it with something that's more stable and statically typed called model. Which is the same type as viewbag.events, but this way, um, since we're declaring the type up top, we're, we're closing the gap on some potential for error. Uh, and just to point out, the model as we use it within the template is a capital M model, whereas this declaration of type up top is going to be lowercase model. Don't ask me why. Okay, so let's run this application. What we'll see should look precisely like what we've had before. This is once again just changes that we're making, you know, in um, in a refactoring sense. We're not um, we're not making any changes that will have any effect on the user's behavior. But we just want to confirm that we can create an event and have that event show up. Um, in the home view. I'm just going to do a shorthand for this one and call it a conference. We all know what Strange Loop is by this point. 
okay, great. So we're able to create the event, no problem. So that the little bit of refactoring did work. Now in the next coming videos, um, we're going to talk more about you know why we want to pass in the model into our view and create more models that uh, more closely align with the views that we're um, associating them with.